Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, today I sit with a heavy heart as I record my first video as your rector. It is indeed an unfortunate time to introduce myself and plan for the future, a future that is so uncertain. At the same time, it is through this kind of uncertain times, our priorities as a Christian community of faith can be clearly redefined. I wish to meet you in person. I wish to hold your hand and give you comfort. We are so far away, yet we are so close. We are so close because we are the people of compassion. We see the doctors and nurses risking their lives to save the lives of others, and we feel immense gratitude. We see the pain that is hitting this nation and we feel immense sadness and rage. All of this we feel, we feel it together because we are the people of love. Our presiding Bishop Michael Curry says, love is the way, but we don't always have the power to live that way, but the spirit of the living God does have that power. And when that spirit is poured out on us, the very love that is the heart of God is being poured out on us and love becomes possible. My name is Yane Kim. To be exact, my name is Yane Esther Kim Griffith. Yane is spelled Y-E-I-N, but pronounced like Jane with a Y. Yane is actually a two-syllable name Ye means bright and in means kind. I guess my parents wanted me to be bright and kind. When I first moved to Los Angeles to start my clinical pastoral education at Good Samaritan Hospital, it was mid-July. By the end of July, the elevator at the hospital housing broke down and wasn't fixed until Thanksgiving and I lived on the 12th floor. And I could literally touch the four walls of my room without much movement. Later, then my CPE supervisor, the Reverend Dr. Canon Ron David, called me a pioneering woman, intrepid Christian pilgrim, a witness to social justice, an apologist for faith, a description of me that I try to live by. I didn't know what was ahead of me then, and we don't know what is ahead of us now. But let us keep faith and never stop loving each other. I share with you the words of an Irish poet, John O'Donohue. Awaken your spirit to adventure, hold nothing back, Learn to find ease at risk. Soon you will be home in a new rhythm. For your soul sends the world that awaits you. Be safe and God bless you.